After 76 days of lockdown, the 11 million uh, inhabitants of Wuhan are now allowed to leave the city, but under very strict uh, conditions and, and uh, circumstances. Uh, notably, yes, the use of this government-sanctioned app uh, that gives every individual uh, basically a health status that uh, allows them or not to travel. This is based on their uh, address, uh, where they've been, and also their uh, medical histories. It's also uh, important to note that uh, the authorities here in China are still advising against non-essential uh, travel, asking people to stay put. Uh, still a lot of restrictions, basically, on uh, uh, travel in the country. For instance, people uh, coming from Wuhan to Beijing today will have to do a 14-day quarantine uh, on arrival. Uh, and this basically uh, is a, an important date. Uh, this lifting of restrictions is a, an important uh, marker in the history of this pandemic, but it's still going to be a very gradual process. Uh, process. Uh, the authorities are still very vigilant, very cautious about a uh, possible epidemic rebound. Uh, in Wuhan right now, there's still 515 confirmed cases of COVID-19 that are being treated. And there's still uh, close to 70 neighborhoods that are still in a state of lockdown within the city.